So you're sitting there thinking, I just have the uh, sudden urge to become an elite hacksaw? So, if you could get your scones hardened, wouldn't that be a little security? <laughs> okay, let's get going here. Hyper V Manager is what you will be opening. That should just come with Windows 10. And it's on my shit anyways. So, you click the Start menu, bottom left, type Hyper, and Hyper V Manager should pop right on up. This shit might be more empty than mine is, but... Over here on the left side, we've got Kali.org open. So on the Kali.org website, you should find downloads. Under downloads, you're going to click download Kali Linux. Now, Kali Lite comes with XFCE. That's a window manager. And Kali 64-bit, the, the, the not light version, that comes with GNOME. And with it coming with GNOME, it's my favorite, so you're basically going to click download ISO. Once it downloads the ISO, you're going to come over here. And the most important thing, though, is we want internet access. Like, what the fuck is the point of Kali Linux without internet access? I mean, of course, everybody knows that using Kali Linux is what all the cool kids do to get free McDonald's Happy Meals and free McDonald's root. Just kidding. But anyways, over on the right side here, you pretty much are going to click on Virtual Switch Manager. Once we qu click on Virtual Switch Manager, we are going to click New Virtual Network Switch. We will leave it on external. We could set it up internal. I'm not going to fucking do that, though. Um... I'm going to use external. So once we click external, we are going to click create virtual switch. From here, we will be using the Ethernet connection and leave that external network. Then we're pretty much just going to click apply and OK. From there, you'll be able to click quick create. Make sure to uncheck this box here. It says this virtual machine will run Windows, enables Windows Secure Boot. We don't want this shit, okay? We're going to be running Kali. This is big boy shit, okay? We're, we're not going to be dealing with Windows and, and their secure boots, okay? Take them fucking boots out of here. I have cool sneakers. So down here underneath network, we'll click this, and we will click our new virtual switch or whatever you named it. From there, you can name this, for example, K Big Boy. Okay. And you'll click Change Installation Source. You're going to locate that ISO file that you downloaded, that Kali 64 bit ISO. Most likely, it's going to be in your downloads folder. From there, you'll click Create Virtual Machine. It's going to go ahead and, and start getting things all set up and everything going for you. And then you're just basically going to double click on your K big boy, or I named mine K full. And there's options. You have Kali options from here. It's just going to be a, a wonderful life of choosing whatever the hell you want to start your elite hacksaw career with, right? So typically, though, you go with live system unless you want to, for whatever the fuck reason, install it. I don't, I don't know. But just going with live typically is going to work out in most cases for you. It's really just a good test operating system for penetration testing, looking for weaknesses in networks, websites, whatever. And ideally, you would be authorized or have 100% full consent, permission, whatever, to, do a, to be doing whatever the test is that you are doing, or I should say tests. But anyways, you have all your beautiful shit here. We've got Firefox ESR, Metasploit, Armitage, Burp Suite, Beef XSS. Uh, okay, we have actually a shitload more inside of here, like under reversing. You've got all these. You have a lot of fucking tools here, okay? And and for being free, damn. Holy shit, damn. And and to be able to run this so easily using Hyper-V for free, that's wow. That's good shit, man. Good shit.